following on part one of the series devoted to the Jehovah Witness teaching on the 144,000 mentioned in Revelation chapter 7 and Revelation chapter 14. So today we want to address the specific question posed by the Jehovah Witnesses regarding the identity and the ethnicity of this 144,000. The Jehovah Witnesses are claiming that these 144,000 are not ethnic Jew. They are part of what they call spiritual Israel. So sons of Israel. And let's take a look at their own website. How it explains these 144,000. So here from the GW website. 144,000 strong little flock is the Israel of God. Which has replaced natural Israel and what they call natural is, is the ethnic Israel okay in God's purpose and they cite Galatians 6 16 and then therefore the remnant make up the reminder of that spiritual nation still on earth okay and they cite uh, Revelation uh, 7 verse 2 and 4 about this 144,000 who are sealed out of every tribe I mean from their own website they say out of every tribe of now, instead of saying Israel, they include spiritual Israel. And that's the, how they are defining it. And they also quote Revelation 7.14. So now, let me give you a little bit more specific detail from their own website by using a different link. In French, they provide an explanation for why these 144,000 are not ethnic Jew. Okay, so let's take a look at that French website which include that explanation and I'm wondering why they have removed it from their English website. So in French here, the question is posed, are these 144 solely ethnic Jew? That's the question. And they cite Revelation 7, 4 to 8 by listing this uh, different uh, tribe of Israel. And now here are the three reasons they're putting forward to say that these are not ethnic Jew. The first reason, so uh, the first reason is the following: there has never been the tribe of Joseph. That's their first claim. The second argument: the tribe of Dan and Ephraim do not appear in the list of Revelation seven. And we do agree. The question is why do do they not appear? Okay, but they are claiming because they do not appear. Therefore, it's not speaking about ethnic Israel. Okay, and the third and last argument they are putting forward is the following. The tribe of Levi, they say, are not among the 12 tribe of Israel. And they listed here Numbers chapter 1, verse 4 to 16. We'll take a look at it. They also list Romans 2, 28, Galatians 3, 26 to, to justify their explanation of these 144,000 being spiritual Israel, being spiritual sons of Israel. Okay, now let's take a look at the three arguments. First argument, Joseph, the tribe of Joseph, that has never existed. Okay, and they cite Numbers chapter 1. Now let's take a look at Numbers chapter 1 and see specifically from their own website what Numbers uh, one is talking about and Jehovah spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai and I remember here they just left Egypt and they're in the wilderness and God is asking Moses and Aaron to take a census so verse 2 take a census of the whole assembly of Israel uh, uh, individual according to their family verse 3 you and Aaron are to register by their company all those who are 20 years old and up okay who can serve in the army of israel so now understand the purpose of this census is to identify young male who can serve in the army uh that's the main reason so he start listing verse 5 the tribe of reuben okay the tribe of simeon here verse 6 and the tribe of judah verse 7 issachar zebulon and now in verse 10 of the sons of joseph right here and Ephraim and Manasseh. Okay. Can you see that clearly? So it's clearly mentioning the tribe of Joseph. But the Jehovah Witnesses are claiming the tribe of Joseph never existed. Okay. And one explanation. And if you go continue on that same verse, on that same chapter, 
verse 32, it again lists the descendant of Joseph. So Ephraim and through Manasseh, right here. And he gave us the numbers. So you can see here, clearly the tribe of Joseph is mentioned. And if we go to Numbers chapter 26, again, another sentence is taken when they are at the border of entering the promised land. Again, God asked him to take another census, verse 2 here, of Israelite of, from 20 years and up, etc. So they start doing that. He start listing Reuben, um, uh, etc. The sons of uh, God, uh, Simeon. And if we go to verse 28 here, the sons of Joseph, listed by Manasseh and Ephraim. Again, a second passage of the same book they are listing as a proof that these are not ethnic Jew. The Bible is clearly telling us you have the descendant of the tribe of Joseph. So the tribe of Joseph does exist against their first argument. Now, if we look at their second argument, they are claiming the tribe of Ephraim and Dan do not appear in the list of the 12 tribe mentioned in Revelation 7. And we do agree. That is very clear. The question is why they do not appear there. Okay, because they are claiming because they did not appear, then this is not speaking about ethnic Israel. That's totally wrong. But we're going to show you the reason why the tribe of Ephraim and the tribe of Dan do not appear in Revelation 7. It's because of something that happened long time ago by their ancestor who introduced idolatry into the land of Israel. And as a result, it spread out into the entire territory with other tribe also being influenced by idolatry. God hates idolatry, right? And that's as a punishment. They are descendants who are going to come later on during the tribulation time. They will not be among the 144,000 who will be sealed by God, preserved against all the calamities. Let's take a look at it in the book of uh, 1 King. Chapter 12, and from verse 25 all the way to 29. And this is, let me give you the context. It's speaking about Jeroboam. Jeroboam was the general of King Solomon. And he had some issue with Solomon. He ran away for his life to Egypt. But when he heard that Solomon died, he decided to come back. And there was a revolt among the Jews against the new king, who is the son of Solomon, Rehoboam. Because he taxes them too much. So Jeroboam led that revolt and went into the northern part of the country. And that's how the, the nation of Israel was divided into two kingdoms. The northern kingdom with Jeroboam and the southern kingdom with Rehoboam. And verse 25 is telling us now, Jeroboam then built up Sisham in the mountainous region of Ephraim. Now the territory of Ephraim. Okay. And live there. From there he went out and built Penuel. Verse 26, Jeroboam said in his heart, Now the kingdom will return to the house of David. If these people continue to go up to offer sacrifice at the house of Jehovah in Jerusalem, where Rehoboam is, the heart of these people will also return to their lord, King Rehoboam of Judah. Yes, they will kill me and return to King Rehoboam of Judah. After consultation, the king made two golden cups. Did you see where the idolatry start here? And said to the people, It is too much for you to go up to Jerusalem. Here is your God, O Israel, who brought you out, up out of the land of Egypt. Then he placed one in Bethel. Bethel was a, a, a worship center in the middle of the territory of Ephraim. When you look at a map, Ephraim is on the western side of the uh, uh, Mediterranean Sea and it's east of the territory of Dan and Dan is west of that uh, uh, Ephraim territory so both of them were at the uh, uh, Mediterranean Sea and this is where idolatry entered into the land and you can see here they put one in Bethel and one in Dan and this caused them to sin and the sin went as far as Dan to worship the one there okay this is the main reason why Ephraim and Dan are excluded from the list of the 12 tribes. Why? 
because they introduce idolatry into the land, they introduce sin, and they turn people away for the, from the worship of the true God. Okay? As a result, their descendants who are going to come centuries after, during the tribulation, they are not here yet, but in the future, these, their descendants, whom God knows, will not be among the 12 tribes that will be seen. Okay? Only those from the tribe, the other tribe, including Joseph, and the tribe of Manasseh, they are included, but you can see the tribe of Ephraim is hidden because it's not included. And the tribe of Dan is excluded, and the tribe of Levi is introduced here in this case. Okay? And that leads me to the third argument that the Jehovah Witnesses are pointing out, that the tribe of Levi are not considered to be among the 12 tribes. That's totally false. Because throughout the Bible, from the book of Genesis, Genesis 49 lists all the 12 tribes of Israel, and Levi is listed there. All the way, book of Numbers, we saw it. They are excluded in numbers because of military duty, because the Levi are specifically devoted to the service of God in the temple, in the tabernacle, all the religious activities are coordinated by these Levi. That's why when it comes to military duty, they are excluded. That's the main reason why. But that doesn't mean they are not among the 12 tribes of Israel because Levi is a son of Jacob. Therefore, he is a descendant of Israel among the 12 tribes. You can say, you can argue, for example, Isa, who is the twin brother of Jacob, his descendants are not among the 12 tribes. His descendants are not Jew. Okay? But you cannot claim that the descendants of Joseph are not Jew because they are part of the 12 tribe. You cannot claim the tribe of Levi, the descendant of Levi, are not among the 12 tribe because they are descendant of Jacob, who is their father. Okay? I hope that is clear and clarify the point. Um, if we go back now to uh, the book of um, uh, Rem uh, Romans, chapter 2, Verse 28, that also these Jehovah Witnesses are using as an argument to say it's speaking about spiritual Israel. Okay? Romans 2, 28 and Galatians 2, 3, 26, which speak about there is no neither Jew nor Gentile. There is neither slave nor free man. There is neither male or female. We are all one in Christ Jesus. Okay? And they use that as an argument to say that this is speaking about spiritual Israel. But that has nothing to do with the tribulation. The tribulation is the time period where God is pouring out his wrath upon the entire earth. Okay? And at that time, he has already raptured all the Christians, all those who have put their faith in Jesus Christ as their Lord, meaning Almighty God and Savior, have been raptured, caught up. And if you're Jehovah Witness listening, we know what you believe. You do not believe that Jesus Christ is Almighty God. But God is telling us, reminding us in the book of Romans chapter 10, if you don't acknowledge, recognize that Jesus Christ is Lord, Almighty God, and He is your Savior, you cannot be saved. And if you are among those people, and you're going to face tribulation, and, and you are here during the time of tribulation, you're going to face that tribulation time period. Okay? Because you're not going to be raptured. So, only those Christians who are raptured. And now, Galatians 3 and Romans 2 are speaking about the church today, which is the time period in which we are, where during the church period, there is no distinction between Jew and Gentile. So long as you're in Christ Jesus, you put your trust in Jesus Christ, whether you're Jew or Gentile, you're part of the church. Okay? That's what Galatians 3 is speaking about. And that has nothing to do with the tribulation which is going to happen after the church is taken out of here. And during that period, whether you're Jew or Gentile, you're going to face this supernatural calamity that's going to fall upon mankind because God is pouring out his wrath on the entire earth. That's the explanation. And this is why the claim that the Jehovah Witness are saying these 144,000 are spiritual Israel doesn't hold. It's not consistent with what the Bible is teaching and even their own references quoting Numbers chapter 1 or uh, Romans chapter 2 or Galatians chapter 3 do not hold. We're going to stop here 
And in our next video, we're going to tackle Revelation 14, which they have cited, Revelation 17, and Romans 12, 32. God bless you until we uh, meet next time. <music>